Hello, I'm David Sibley, and today I'm going to show you how I draw an arctic turn. For drawing, the most unusual thing about turns is that they have extremely long wings that end up folded up, sticking out behind the body. We'll start with an oval, nearly horizontal, and over towards the right side of the paper. You have to leave room for the wings. The head is a circle balanced on top of the oval. And for the wings, we'll start right under the head and then draw a curved line following the lower side of the body and continuing all the way out more than twice as far back as the body. And then complete that oval back to the front. We won't use all of that oval. For the bill, draw a straight line coming out of the middle of the head and then a slightly curved line coming down to meet that to form a long, narrow triangle. If you imagine a line coming out of the middle of the bill and back into the head, the eye is on that line, just forward of the middle of the head. Now we can fill in the outline of the head. Um, turns are even more streamlined than most birds, so a very smooth line from the bill over the top of the head and from the lower part of the bill down to the chest. Just smooth curves. We'll add some details around the base of the bill, curving back to just under the eye and then forward again to the lower corner of the bill. Turns in the summer have a black cap. And that black edge comes right from the base of the bill right up to the eye and then uh, down behind the eye curving down the back of the neck. We can color that all in black. Dark eye and all black on the cap. I use cross hatching lots of parallel lines going in different directions and uh, start with the darkest part and then as you add lines in a different direction on top of those that area will become darker give you a little bit of shading now we can smooth in the back and coming down the back leaving a little bulge just behind the oval of the body and then to the underside of the folded wing darken that long curve coming back behind the body curving up and then just tapering back to the bulge at the back the wing coverts the tips form a diagonal line across the wing the leading edge the bend of the wing where the feathers overlap a little notch, and then the gray feathers of the back curve up to the back of the neck, and the back feathers form an oval patch overlapping the inner edge of the wing. Now we can add the contour of the underside of the body, which curves up sharply and disappears under the wing. You can add the second wingtip as a very narrow, slightly curved uh, point just above the near wingtip. The tail, turns have very long forked tails, and all that you'd see in this pose is just two very long, thin feathers sticking out from under the wings. You can sketch in some details of the wingtip, the long primary feathers, so parallel lines along the lower edge of the folded wingtip, and then diagonal lines for the tips of those feathers. You can add some shading along the wing coverts on the forward part of the wing, and shading on the lower edge of the back feathers. We'll add a little bit of shading on the chin, and shadow on the underside of the body. So now we'll add the legs, and a bird is balanced over its feet. In this case, 
most of the rear part of this bird is just very long feathers, long wingtips and long tail, and those weigh almost nothing. So the balance point is quite far forward, actually just behind the head. So you want to put the legs right around there. And we'll have this bird sitting on a rock. And a little shadow cast on the rock. There is an arctic tern. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd love to see what you've created, so please share.